Hi everybody, welcome back. Sipsopolis, 78,395 uh, in the bank, slowly dwindling uh, due to the fact that we're in the hole per hour. Had to take out a loan last episode uh, because we had a little bit of a problem with industrial uh, freight reaching uh, commercial areas and stuff like that. But we seem to be um, sort of coming back uh, very slowly. The uh, Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower, once again, causing us a lot of uh, budget issues, uh, but hopefully we'll get back on top of that. Look at that. Total profit today has only been minus 4,000. Total profit yesterday was a massive <laughs> minus 89,798. I don't even know how that happens, uh, but it, it, does, it does happen from time to time. Uh, of course, the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower is providing all of the power for the city due to its massive solar array on the top, and also provides all the education for the city as well. Everybody goes to the education level uh, for some high-class uh, drama every single day. Kids just running around on the entire floor of a Mega Tower, hitting each other and just generally being bastards to each other. Uh, because that's what kids do. It's just in their nature, unfortunately. That's what children like to do when they are surrounded with other children. Great. Okay, uh, we still have an outstanding upgrade uh, for the Academy, which we still have not been able uh, to build because we have not had the money and we've never been in a position since where we've just been flush with money. Uh, look at that. Uh, once again, we're, d <laughs> we're dropping into the negatives slowly further into the negatives. Uh, so let us start looking at uh, the demand that we have outstanding. Medium wealth commercial, uh, which will make us some money. And there's still quite a high demand for high wealth residential, which we can start looking at as well. Great. Okay, let's start with the medium wealth commercial. Let's see. This commercial area should be mostly medium wealth, uh, if not completely. We'll have to add some more parks to, uh, to sort of benefit these ones too, because they're all low wealth at the moment. Uh, and if we do need some low wealth uh, commercial, we can probably build like another section over here or whatever. What the? Why is List Liston Luxury Lofts are upset because there's no schooling to be had? I need to check this actually. The Where's the education levels? It's teaching 490 students. There's nothing else you can really do actually with the education level once it's built. Uh, it has the capacity for... Does it have capacity? It has... Whoa, look at that. It has capacity for 2,000 students. There's no excuse for the list in luxury apartments to not have any education. Come on. Just jump into your Porsche and get there. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. Just drive there and get your education. Look, it's right here. Level 7 of the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower. No? Doesn't want to? Okay, fine. Uh, how are these guys doing? We want park or mall levels. There's not really much we can do about that right now. Uh, look, all of our levels are full. Completely and utterly full. We can't even edit. Can we actually, can we edit the, the Mega Tower at all? No, we can't. It's just so bad. It's not making any money at the moment. And actually, it's just bringing the entire city to a grinding halt uh, half the time. We're unable to make money due to this Mega Tower just constantly being in the shitter. Uh, it probably make more, so look, they need more shops. I guess these are low wealth and they need more shops, even though there's no demand for shops. Uh, does it say what the actual... Look, if we go in here... Okay, so the demand here is pretty much the same as the demand in the region. So I guess they want to shop at medium wealth commercial, which is what we were just looking into doing. So fine, let's do it. We're going to also futurize uh, this area over here, hopefully with an AR athletic center, and expand the medium wealth influencing aura there we go a couple of more uh, parks let's add some basketball courts to the side as well like on this side maybe since like this is like sort of a dead zone for building now there we go one basketball court there we go a nice beautiful aura of uh, medium wealth um, for the commercial area here which is very good uh, and let's also get a basketball court here there we go we're going to put it right there. Oh, there. Okay, great. So, lots of medium well shops that can open, and they should be able to... Are these... Okay, density hopefully is improving. Making a lot of profit. These are changing before I can even read. Worried about crime. Making a lot of profit. Look, <laughs> every time I click on one, it changes. We're making a lot of profit. Look, okay, so the density will increase over time, which is very good. Excellent. Uh, we can probably ha get some more commercial in and alongside here. I can't fucking believe... Look at Thomas Clark. You're gone. <laughs> All the power is gone now too, though. That's the only problem. Can we actually leave this on? Can we leave the 
the array on? No, the whole building has been closed. Oh, look at that. We're still getting some power into the city somehow. I don't quite know how that works. Uh, we're, like, massively profitable once again as well. Uh, but then as soon as we turn it on... Brrr, minus 7,001. It's a new world record. Look at that. Minus 7,000 an hour. Uh, insane. I don't even know. We just lost seven grand just for flicking that on and off. I don't even know how it works. It's unbelievable. Uh, okay, let's see. How, how's our demand here? We still have a lot of medium wealth commercial demand. We're going to have to expand uh, this commercial area out now. Oh, look. Here we go. The power crown is back online. Everybody's happy. 1,400 an hour. That uh, That's down from the 2,000 it was previously. So actually flicking the switch and paying seven grand to chip off 600 an hour seems to have somehow done the trick in the weirdest possible way. I don't even understand how that quite works. Uh, we're going to have to snake some sort of... Well, I don't know if we can actually afford to do this, but we're going to have to snake uh, some sort of uh, feeder avenue into here to connect this up. Because this area here is just going to be a total mess of traffic if we don't do it. So let's go for something like this. Look at this. We're going to just have it like come down here. And then we can connect up the commercial and the industrial area uh, on the side. We might just need to like sort of do that. Look at this. It's just going to end like nowhere. <laughs> We're just going to have it end down here and go nowhere. Perfect. Okay, great. Uh, and then we can just sort of flank either side with uh, some commercial and uh, also some industrial if we ever need it again. Looks like we just need commercial and we could really do with a high wealth area for residential as well. So let's start working on that while we still have a little bit of money left. Uh, it's not going to last for very long, unfortunately. Oh, uh, look at this. That's quite nice, actually. I like that. And then we can also sort of finish this curve off connect up to here and then we should be able to jam a whole bunch of commercial in here medium wealth ideally would be nice okay let's jam a bunch of commercial in here also jam some commercial in here we've got room at the back for parks if we need it uh and we should be able to just shove like a one or two in here that could maybe develop into something i'm not too sure uh, and of course we can probably shove just a whole bunch in here too it's quite the commercial district, actually. It's shaping up pretty nicely. Uh, let's also get some in here, too. Look. All the way along here. There. Uh, now, we need to make sure that the whole area is... Uh, oh, my God. I can't believe how much money we're fucking losing every hour. It's so depressing. And it doesn't make sense, either. Look it. We lost 100,000 off this mega tower. All the floors are upset. Why? We need work. There's work. There is tons of work in this city. There are a lot of fun things to do here. I'm so happy for you. All 192 of you fucking bastards. There's a population for 600 of you, you fucking assholes. What's going on? Jesus. No work. Moving out soon. The low wealth are, are just absolutely furious. Okay, now we finally got some more industrial demand. Randomly. For no reason. Let's see if we can add some more industry down here now. Probably not in this area because we sort of need it. Uh, we'll add it down here. Look, we'll add it to the side here, all the way down the side, and try to prop up some of this money and create some jobs for these people who are convinced that there's no jobs in the city, even though there's tons of jobs in the city. So there you go. Are there going to be jobs for you people? We'll see. I'm not sure. 1,552 in the hole per hour. Are we going to dip down? Are we going to have to take out another loan? It's probably very likely that we are going to have to take out another loan. We're going to have to get some parks set up to make sure that this is all medium wealth. Uh, we continue to dip down into uh, the negatives once again. In the end, I think we're just going to have to get rid of the mega tower, unfortunately. Uh, 50,000 big ones. We're going to have to take out yet another loan and pay 347 an hour. Holy crap because we're about to lose quite a congregation. Have your thousand... I, I missed it. <laughs> I don't even care enough to go check. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see if we can get some parks down and make this medium wealth now. Can we do it? Oh, shit. Whoops. It just flew me off one side of the map. Okay, fine. Uh, sports. Yeah, we want sports. We want to have an AR athletic center here. We have enough medium... Uh, oh, look at that. It's going to make it all like futuristic as well, which is a good thing. Great. Uh, how does that look? Does it look good? Hello? Land value map? Thank you. Great. Okay, yeah. It's all futuristic. Great. And it should be uh, medium wealth as well, uh, which should be good. Oh, it looks like uh, actually we started shipping in. Oh, no, we haven't. I thought maybe we did based on that. We haven't. Look, it's still just like this. Oh, it's finally going down. Okay, great. 
Uh, that should be jobs then, somewhat sorted out. Uh, of course, we're still in the hole massively, and it's because of the Mega Tower. The Mega Tower is costing us 9,570 to run. It only makes 4,216. And that's because most of these floors um, are... Can we, like, close? Well, how much is this costing? 730 an hour. Okay, let's try to close this. Can we close the mall level? Okay, we can actually close the individual levels and claw back some money. Okay, the mall level is gone then. We don't need that. Uh, what about this apartment level? We've got another apartment level, yet another apartment level. Education level and apartment level. I don't think we have... Okay, so it's just that one mall level that's closed. Okay, and are people moving... Okay, now, <laughs> now that the mall level is closed, there seems to be great places to shop for these people around here. Okay, which is very good. These people are okay. Are they unhappy about anything? No work moving out soon. Okay. It's costing us 800 an hour and there's six people living here. So let's close this one down as well. Oh, look. We can sort of... <laughs> we can shut down levels of the Mega Tower uh, that aren't making us any money and make our money back. Okay. So people seem to be moving into that level, which is good. Uh, is this profitable at all? No. Uh, there's 192 people living here out of a possible 600. Uh, okay, fine. There are a lot of fun things to do here, and maybe people will move in. Uh, oh my god. I can't believe it. We're actually back into the green. Jesus. I wish I would have done this a lot sooner. Look at this. Oh, look at this one can go to you. All right. Get out of here, you bastards. There we go. Fine. Oh, deep breaths. I'm taking it. I'm just going to have a very, a very deep breath and a private moment right now. And now that we're back uh, into the green after taking out 150,000 worth of loans to try to stay in the game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. What a thing. I, I mean, just such a quick way of booting you out of the game entirely if, if you don't manage it properly. And so far, I don't think I have managed it properly. But now, I feel like I have the skills uh, required uh, to manage it. So, uh, a word of caution to you. If you ever make a mega tower, just shut down the floors that aren't populated because they cost a lot of money to maintain, even though, well, I guess, I guess that's the thing. I mean, it's probably my own fault. I'm probably getting mad at the game, but it's not really the game's fault because looking at it and taking a step back from the situation, there's no demand for low and medium wealth residential at the moment. So of course, there's not gonna be anybody living in those levels. And that'll be due to the fact that previously when I was in the hole big time and about to lose, I made all of this. And look, there's a lot of people living in here. Well, I say living, there's a lot of people dying in here. Uh, but there are a lot of low and medium wealth people living outside of the Mega Tower now. And the Mega Tower was its most profitable when we didn't have all of these areas here. So, I guess uh, the thing that we want to do is stop building residentials. And of course, as the density increases for these res residential areas, uh, people start to move in. <laughs> Look at this commercial demand. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, we might be able to actually fulfill that. Look, with mall level two, <laughs> it's low wealth commercial. Should we risk it? All right, the mall is op once again open for business. How we, oh, look at that. <laughs> it, it affects it straight away. That is nuts. That is such a, a uh, such a quick way of meeting demand. Uh, the only thing is, though, is I don't think anyone's going to come here to shop because it's maybe like a little bit out of the way, possibly. Is it too out of the way? We've had three sales so far <laughs> since it's opened. It's not very good. It's costing us a lot of money to run this as well. We might be better off actually just keeping this mall level closed uh, and then just manually sort of building uh, some commercial like outside of the Mega Tower. I don't know. Is this like a bug or something? Is there like a bug with mall levels in the Mega Tower? I think I seem to remember reading that somewhere, that they're bugged. Maybe they're not worth making until like they're fixed. Well, I say that. Look at that. The sales are sort of climbing up now. Ah, we might be good. They're slowly, slowly starting to come out. It seems to be taking. So let's leave it and see. We're still profitable per hour. And the demand is just slightly up for low wealth commercial so we might be okay okay fine let's see what we'll wait and see anyway okay great finally i feel like uh we should be okay now uh and if there's ever any more demand for low and medium wealth we've got levels in the mega tower that we can switch back on 
Jesus Christ, my God, that is crazy. All right, uh, health seems to be a little bit of a problem at two deaths per day, probably not a huge problem. Uh, people seem to be claiming that there's people dying all around us. Uh, in actual fact, of a population of 86,162, only two people died uh, yesterday, and two people will probably die today if it follows the trend. That's not exactly people dying all around you unless those two people happen to be in your immediate family and you're a family of three then yes i would say people are dying all around you but i would say that that's probably not very likely given that the population is eighty-six thousand and there's two deaths per day in the city so maybe a little bit of an exaggeration how are we doing for water we have excess of 20.8 that is flashing uh yellow the excess is in the green at 22.5 uh, we seem to be producing a lot of shit, which uh, translates into water in our current setup, which is good. Great, okay. Uh, and if we need to, of course, we've got this whole area down here. We can add another hydro pumping station and we should be fine. Perfect. And it looks like we have a little bit of industrial demand as well. Uh, unemployment crisis. There are more workers than there are jobs. Zone industrial or commercial. Uh, yes, okay, yeah. We're on top of that somewhat. We need to add a lot more medium wealth commercial, apparently. Uh, and then as the density in improves in this entire commercial area as well, uh, we'll be able to fulfill some of those jobs. Uh, uh, otherwise, we could just make another mega tower and just fill it with uh, medium wealth uh, commercial levels, uh, which will dive us down into the hole into oblivion, open some gateway to hell. We'll all plunge through it and die some sort of fiery disgusting death uh, because we ran out of money because that's what happens when you run out of money in real life as well you should be careful all right uh we've got this other annex that we can add as well and this person here is probably going to tell me about it right now mayor now that the academy has been upgraded we should add an annex uh listen lady i don't know if you've been watching the sim city series but i've been getting a little bit frustrated lately because we haven't had any money uh and i don't have enough to buy an annex but as soon as i do trust me it's on the list of things to do, but for now, I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to say, I'm out. Just like on Dragon's Den, I'm out. I'm out. I'm sorry. I'm out. Every time. that it, Duncan Bannatyne does not invest. He, I mean, if you look back, he probably has invested, but every time I've watched it, he's just said, I'm out. He doesn't like anything. He's already made his millions like w off like gyms and stuff like that, and he just does not want to invest anything else, which is fair enough, actually. I think I'd be the same. Uh, please... Any problems? Three crimes per minute per day. Uh, that's not bad, actually. In the grand scheme of things, three crimes uh, committed per day uh, in a city where the population is 85,000 is not too bad. It's probably manageable. We should be okay. Great. Okay, fine. We're 55 bucks <laughs> in the green per hour. Hopefully that climbs. We have 54,270 in the bank. We have loans of just over 100,000. Not too bad. We're slowly, slowly starting to repay that now. Uh, so that should be fine. Uh, and uh, and hopefully now we've got a better understanding of the perils of uh, a mega tower, such as the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower. It's not Tom Clark's fault. I should just say for the record, actually, it probably is Tom Clark's fault. Tom, if you're watching this, I'm going to send you an email as soon as this is done, and it's going to be filled with swearing. I'm really sorry. But I got really angry this episode, and I feel like I have to take it out on somebody. And you're the first person that came to mind. So uh, just just an FYI. Um, and actually, well, you'll probably get the email before you see this video. Long before you see this video. So at least you'll have some sort of closure on the whole email fiasco as well uh, once you receive it and stuff. So there you go. Uh, these people cannot go to school. Oh, God, that's such a nice building, too. What a shame. We're going to have to knock that down. Uh, great. Okay, let's end there. We're going to end this episode there. Um, this commercial area is starting to grow. Look at this. Holy shit. We got a really big building coming in and it looks like capital consulting is just making the big ones. Like there's no tomorrow in listening to like, uh, Belle Biv DeVoe or maybe Devo like all the time or whatever people listen to in the eighties when they used to make like a shit ton of money and they had those cell phones that you needed a backpack for a battery to recharge them and stuff. Crazy stuff. Okay, great. Uh, as usual, thanks very much for watching and, uh, I'll see you next time.